This is another adventurous and crime movie called Gringo. Welcome to Magician Recap Explains. Let's jump right into it. The film begins in the offices of a pharmaceutical company called Prometheum. We see the CEO, Richard Rusk, Joe Ledgerton, being distracted from having sex with the company's co-owner, Elaine Markinson, Charlie Theron, by a phone call. Richard picks up to realize his friend and employee, Harold Soinka, David Oyelowo, crying for help, claiming he has been kidnapped in Mexico, and that his kidnappers are demanding a ransom of 5 million US dollars. The movie moves back to two days earlier, where Harold is merely and just a mild-mannered representative for Prometheum, staying in Chicago, and married to Bonnie, Andy Newton. He meets with his accountant, who tells him that, because of Bonnie's careless spending, they're broke. The accountant also tells Harold about an impending merger of his company with another larger firm that would put Harold out of job. Harold believes Richard is his friend and will never do that to him. When he gets to work, the Spanish-speaking Harold is told by Richard that the two of them, alongside Elaine, are going to be flying to Mexico to handle business involving a company merger. Meanwhile Harold doesn't know that it's supposed to be a merger. Richard makes an allusion to a study he read on a gorilla being fed carrots when he wants bananas as a means for Harold to be convinced to go through with this, so he will eventually be rewarded. Harold later sneaks into Richard's office and finds a merger presentation file on his computer and that he copies to his own drive. Somewhere in the city is a guitar shop run by Sonny, Amanda Seyfried, and her boyfriend, Miles, Harry Treadaway. A friend of Miles, Nelly, Harris Jackson, enters the shop to tell Miles that someone down in Mexico wants him to smuggle some drugs into the United States. He agrees to it for $20,000 and decides to take Sonny along with him. We see Harold, Richard, and Elaine arrive in Mexico where they meet Angel, Yel Vasquez, an old friend of Harold from his previous visits to the company. They meet with their company representative named Celerino Sanchez, Hernan Mendoza. Richard and Elaine enter his office, while Harold sits outside. It appears that they have been selling their latest product, medical marijuana, in the shape of a pill to the Mexican cartel in order to earn more money, and now Prometheum has decided to cut them off to avoid harming their merger. Later on, the three have dinner, with Harold secretly recording what Richard and Elaine say about him when he walks away. He gets to know that his wife is having an affair with Richard. At the hotel, he is having a Skype call with Bonnie, where she admits to having an affair, and that she plans to leave Harold. He tries to get her to talk more, but she hangs up on him. Meanwhile, Sonny and Miles arrive in Mexico, as Miles maintains contact with his guy that wants to send the drugs back with him. Sanchez goes to meet with cartel leader, Viegas, the Black Panther, Carlos Corona. Sanchez tells Viegas, about them getting cut off by Prometheum, and after showing Viegas a picture of Harold, the kingpin is led to believe that Harold is the boss, so he orders his men to go find him. After having them cut off Sanchez's toe to show that nobody messes with them. Back at Prometheum, Richard and Elaine promote their new product, a weed pill called Canabax, to potential buyers, Jerry, Alan Ruck, and Marty, Kenneth Choi. Elaine uses her sex appeal to sway the men into buying what she and Richard are selling, Meanwhile Harold is left behind in Mexico to handle other business. As the cartel goes searching for him, they find that he has left the hotel. Harold goes to stay at a smaller motel, run by two brothers, Ronaldo, Diego Catano, and Ernesto, Rodrigo Correa. Harold later asks the brothers to help him make a phone call that he's been kidnapped. He then calls Richard, and he starts pretending to be kidnapped in exchange for the ransom, but Richard and Elaine cut him off as they are unprepared, although, they believe their business with the cartel is catching up to them. And they are genuinely terrified. To fix the situation, Richard calls his brother, Mitch, Charles Tocopoli, a former mercenary now doing humanitarian work in Haiti, to find Harold and bring him home. Harold spends the evening getting drunk at a bar. The bartender is in league with the cartel, and he alerts the bosses when he recognizes Harold. Two men show up to take Harold away, but he is too drunk to realize something is not right. On the drive to Viegas, Harold is able to understand them in Spanish when they say they got him. He also sees a gun that one of the thugs is holding. Harold fights the man for the gun, leading him to shoot the driver and sending them crashing off-road. Angel, revealed to be one of Viegas' men, shows up to the motel to ask Ronaldo and Ernesto if they have seen Harold. They deny it at first, but then become convinced to send him to Viegas, 
if it means they will be rewarded with money. In the morning, Harold is dazed and in pain, when he sees Sonny and Miles driving down the street. She orders Miles to stop, and they take Harold back to their room once he passes out. Sonny tends to his wounds, and calls him Harry. Soon, Ronaldo and Ernesto, in masks, attempt to kidnap Harold. Before they can get out the door, Mitch shows up and knocks the two of them out, and takes Harold with him. Elaine goes to Richard's apartment building, and sees him by his window with another woman. She musters up the courage to confront him, and realizes that Richard is with Bonnie, whom Elaine knows as Harold's wife. Elaine mentions that she had oral sex with Richard in the toilet of an airplane, causing Bonnie to walk out. In Mexico, Mitch takes Harold to the airport, but he runs away after thinking he's getting kidnapped again. Mitch catches him and takes him back to his room, where he injects him with a tracker, in order to know where he is at all times. Mitch makes a deal with Harold, just to try and get Richard to pay a larger sum of money for Harold's return. When Mitch calls Richard to make the deal, Richard tells him that the company is planning to collect a life insurance claim on Harold, only if he were to end up dead. Mitch reluctantly agrees to take him up on that offer. Harold and Mitch go out on the streets, where they are spotted by Ronaldo and Ernesto. Later on, Mitch attempts to kill Harold, but cannot bring himself to do it as he has grown fond of him, though he admits what Richard was planning. Mitch is then hit by a car driven by the brothers, who take Harold with them. The brothers take Harold to Viegas' ranch, where the kingpin promptly has them both executed. He then tells Harold not to worry, as they only want access to the drug company's vault, to take a surplus of the weed pill. Harold agrees, and they drive to the lab where Miles is meeting with his guide to take the product. This leads to a huge shootout when the police arrive, with everyone firing upon each other. Harold gets away with Angel, who reveals himself to be an undercover drug enforcement agency DA agent that infiltrated Viegas' gang as well as Prometheum. They are chased by the cartel members who run them off the road. As he climbs out of the wreckage, Harold shoots one of the goons, while the other is shot by Mitch, who managed to track Harold. Unfortunately, the first goon is still alive and he shoots Mitch in the head killing him, and Harold kills the goon in return. Harold gives Angel his drive with the information he needs to bring Richard down. Harold also admits he can't return home since, he won't have a job or wife to return to. Angel says people disappear in Mexico all the time, and that he will allow Harold to fake his death. Harold goes to Mitch's body to briefly mourn him before taking his car, which has a ton of cash and forged passports. Later on, Viegas and his men, along with Miles, are all arrested. Harold is declared dead back home, and a funeral is arranged for him, which Bonnie attends. She later gets fat after being alone. Richard is arrested and sentenced to 15 years in prison, and Elaine takes in charge of the company. While in prison, Richard receives a banana peel with the message, Dear Richard, eat your carrots, letting Richard know that Harold is alive. It appears that, Harold leaves in Mexico and opens up a bar by the beach. He maintains contact with Sunny and sends her a message on her birthday. The film closes with Harold looking to the audience and smiling. That's all for this movie. Like, comment, share and subscribe for more videos.